Hey guys, welcome back to Vanguard Motor Sales. I'm Greg and I am standing in front of one of the coolest cars on the planet. This is a recreation of what a King Cobra would have looked like in the day if Ford would have built them. And that front end on there, that is one of the original front ends that were made and delivered to Bud Moore to put on a car and test. This car is a numbers matching 429 Cobra Torino all rotisserie restored. So what we've got here right here is a recreation of a real King Cobra. And if you want to check out about 100 pictures of her, go to our website at vanguardmotorsales.com. We're going to get it up on the lift so you can see just how nice the bottom side is. We're going to pop this gigantic hood and take a look at that 429. We're going to look at the interior. We're going to show you everything you need to see so you can make a great decision on your Torino investment. So get up here and let's fire this king up. Look at this beautiful nose. Like I said, this is one of the original noses that was built back in probably 1969. It was on the Bud Moore car. It had a little bit of damage on it. That's how we know for a fact that it was real. You can see from the underneath where the repair was made. So this is, I mean, this front end's just about as old as I am. Look at those wheels and tires. Man, do they look sharp. I love the stripe going down the side. Check this interior out. Look at the door jams. The interior is beautiful. Now there's a center cap there in that back wheel that's missing. We've got one of those on order coming in. Back bumper looks good. Tail light lenses look great. Look at that King Cobra right there. The paintwork on it too, slick as can be, laid down smooth as can be. And look inside that trunk. Factory original in there, baby. Looks brand spanking new. Even got a uh, chrome magnum in there for a spare. Bottom side of the deck lid looks great. When you look down the side of the car, you can really tell the workmanship on it. Look how nice and straight that bodywork is. I mean, does that car look like it's flying around the uh, track right now, right out in front of all those Mopars? This would have been it, hit guys. All they had to do is build it. Now the story behind it is, you used to have to build 500 cars to be able to run them in NASCAR, where they changed the rules to 3,000, and that's when Ford cut the program. That's why that nose is so rare. They only built, I've heard two different stories, either three or five of these noses, but for sure, that is one of the original noses that they built back in the day. Now let's take a look at the interior. Look at the door panel, looks beautiful. Now the chrome here on the armrest is showing a little bit of wear. The armrest itself is in great shape, got the Cobra there. Got great looking carpeting in there. Center console looks like it's brand spanking new. The upholstery on the seats also looks brand spanking new. We got seat belts in the front and in the rear. We actually have three in the rear there. Package tray looks good. Headliner looks good. Even the dome light in the bottom side of the console is working and the dome light up there in the headliner is working. And look at that dash. It's got the really rare 140 mile an hour speedometer. The dash pad itself is in beautiful shape. The steering wheel is in beautiful shape. Overall, this car is drop dead gorgeous.
let's go for a ride in the King Cobra. It is a beautiful day to get up on the expressway and go 200 mile an hour in a Cobra. <laughs> well, I don't think it'll do 200, but that's what they were doing back in the day when they were racing these cars. That's what they were built for. Now, I know I've said the story, or I'm gonna say the story in the video here about 14 times, so you guys are probably gonna get tired of hearing it, but that real Bud Moore front end is what makes this car ultra rare. Not to mention, this is a numbers matching Torino Cobra 429 car, rotisserie restored. It's drop dead gorgeous, guys. You gotta look at the pictures, you gotta watch the entire video. It's just an amazing ride here. Now at Vanguard Motor Sales, we're shipping experts. We can ship this car anywhere in the world. So call Tom at 248-974-9513. Hey, there's a cop. He must have known what King Cobra was gonna be out. <laughs> Look at that, it drives nice and straight. Take this to any car show. I guarantee you, you will be the only guy there with a 70 model King Cobra. Only three of them that I know exist. There's the Bud Moore car with the 429 Boss in it, and it's uh, for sale on the internet for like half a million dollars. And then I know of one other car, yellow car. This car is just super rare, guys. Now take a look, there's a big rock in the road. Oh, there's a big hole in the road too. Take a look down here on the dash. We've got the tack working, the speedos working, the fuel gauge is working, the temp gauge is working. Uh, it's got the stock radio in it. Just an amazing ride here. And if you need help with financing, no problem. We've got two banks we work with, about a 15, 20 minute phone call with the banker, and we can get this dream parked in your drive, and you can be the only guy on the planet who's out driving around the 70 model King Cobra. Listen to that exhaust, it just sounds awesome. At 429, making power. These cars were so cool in the day. Remember my uncle had one of these, uh, I believe his was a 70 Torino. And I, we always did the, the uh, mechanical work for it and the tune-ups and that for him. I always remember, man, oh, we're going to get Uncle Paul's car. Man, I was excited. Love those Torinos. Now we're coming up on our shop here. We're at 15100 Keel Street, Plymouth, Michigan. And you gotta stick around now because this is the part of video you don't normally get to see at the other guy's shops. We're gonna put this beautiful car up in the air so you can check out the underside. Then we're gonna pop that beautiful hood and take a look at that numbers matching 429 under that big old hood. All right, we're underneath this King Cobra now and she is beautiful under here too. You can see a brand new tank, brand new exhaust. Those drop downs look like factory. The frame looks like factory. The floors look like factory. It's got the uh, red oxide primer, Ford nine inch, right around the 3 0 gear in here. Uh, we've got brand new lines. It's even got the uh, breather line going up in there, just like from the factory. Parking brake cables are hooked up. Looks like the spring packs are restored. Back sides of the rockers look brand new. The frame up here looks brand new. Drive shaft's got all the paint marks on it. Exhaust system looks amazing. Everything about this car is just gorgeous. Look at the back sides of these rockers. They all look factory original. Floorboards look factory original. We've got the numbers matching C6 in here. Fuel lines look good. Power steering, all this gear up here looks in great shape. Sway bar bushings look good. We do have uh, disc brakes up front. Of course, the ball joints, the upper and the lower control arms, they look brand new. Now the back brakes, the guys pull those apart, make sure they're in good working order. Uh, radius arm bushings looks good. And here's where that front end starts right here, that King Cobra front end. Look how much that hangs over, man, so cool. Now the uh, hood release is right here. And if you get back up under here just a little bit here with the camera, you can see See all this original fiberglass here? She's beautiful. Now there was a little bit of repair done right here, and that's what the guys are telling us that makes us know that this is that front end that was on the Bud Moore car. It's just beautiful under here, guys. 
just drop dead gorgeous car, little piece of history, and you're gonna love it when we park this dream in your drive. Now let's take a look at these wheels and tires. All right, up front here we got TA, BFGs, and looks like 245, 60, 15s up front on some brand new Magnums. Those wheel wells look great, that paint looks awesome. The fiberglass on this front end is smooth as can be. And of course, those rockers are beautiful. They look brand new. Let's check the rear. All right, out back here, we got more rubber back here. We got 275, 60, 15s. And again, look at these wheelhouses here. You can see all the spot welds here where that inner fender is spot welded to that quarter panel. Beautiful. And again, can't say enough about these rockers. Look at that line, how nice and clean it is. That pinch weld's beautiful. All the red oxide's beautiful. The frame looks awesome. The spring pocket looks awesome. Just an amazing car. Let's get under that great big old King Cobra hood. All right, under this beautiful hood is a beautiful 429. All numbers matching to this Torino. This is a Cobra Torino. Uh, everything about the car is amazing. She's got air conditioning, power brakes, power steering, all the original um, auto light hoses, clamps, beautiful air cleaner, all the pipe work looks good, all the wiring looks amazing. It's even got an auto light battery in it. Now these covers do come off and there are functioning headlights in there. The lights do function. All this knows that original King Cobra stuff from the day. This is an amazing car, guys, for a collection. Nobody else has one. There's only three of them out there that I've ever seen. Give us a call at 248-974-9513 and let Vanguard Motor Sales put this little piece of history in your driveway.